Welcome to your monthly Psychic Tarot reading for July 2024. Now, before I move on to your tarot reading, there is something important that I want to share with you regarding the content of this channel. I will keep offering individual monthly readings for each zodiac sign. But when it comes to extra readings, extra content, is there where changes will take place? And these changes will take place depending on a lot of factors. Okay, yes. Now, let's move on with your reading. Taurus, hello Taurus, hello. July 2024 for Taurus. Let's do this. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Taurus, you are determined. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Determined to reach your goal. Okay? Yes. To receive, to get. Yes, your ninth cup. To receive your ninth cup which is your desire, your wish fulfillment. Taurus, okay. Page of Wands. For Taurus, please. July 2024 for Taurus. Ten of Wands. For July. Hmm. There is excitement here. This is the second time I see the Knight of Wands. Okay. Maybe there is something or someone that is... Um, how can I say this? It's like it's getting your attention here. Yes. Has caught your attention. Someone or something has caught your attention, Taurus. Could be a Scorpio. Just saying, I don't know why I said that. For some of you, maybe it is, right? <laughs> okay. And I know that it's going to be different for each and every one of you. So if you are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Taurus. Okay. Two more shuffles. Nine of Cups. Yes. Nine of Cups. Now, again, for those of you that are new on my channel, I don't intend my readings to be love readings, but if love shows up, then it's welcomed. And we are ready for Taurus, July 2024. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So it's handling a situation with calmness and peace. Okay. First card for you is the Five of Cups. There is a sense of loss in uh, the energy of the Five of Cups. Okay. There's a sense of loss. This is like something's missing, okay? Maybe someone's missing you or you are missing someone. Just saying. Okay, moving on. Taurus, we have the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. A new beginning. Yes. So this Five of Cups could be a past energy for a lot of you. Yes. Moving on, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, Soulmate Energy, and the Eight of Swords. Oh, I'm hearing a song. Why am I hearing that? <laughs> what is that? 
I, I, yes, and it's in my mind. It, 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 it doesn't go away. Like, yeah, bad boys, bad boys. Uh, what you gonna do? Uh, what you gonna do when it comes for you? Bad boys, bad boys. This is what I'm hearing for some reason. I don't know why. Taurus, three of pentacles, four of wands. This is a very strong foundation that you have built for yourself here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, um, and this is like, um, a, a strong 3D foundation, okay? So a lot of you have a good job, haha. Uh -huh. You are pleased with your job, okay? But again, maybe there is love that is missing from your life, could be. So let's start clarifying. Clarifying the Five of Cups for Taurus. Five of Cups for Taurus, July 2024, for Taurus, please. Well, okay. Yeah, so the Five of Cups is a past energy. You have overcome an obstacle, okay? Maybe you have overcome or healed from sadness or, or disappointment here, okay? Mm -hmm. But the sun is coming out, has already is already out and the canvas is clear for you to start a new chapter in your life, okay? Mm. Especially when it comes to love. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. Clarifying the, uh, the Ace of Wands, please. Clarifying the Ace of Wands for Taurus. Thank you. We have the devil in disguise. Okay, the devil is not a bad energy. It's not always bad. Depending on the cards, the, 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 um, the cards that is surrounding the energy of the devil, it depends on a lot of things. Okay. But many times we see the devil and we're like, <gasps> you know, no, no. The devil is that side of us that connects us to the 3D realm yes okay our wants our desires our passions mm -hmm. okay and Taurus, you are very passionate here very much so and this passion is being expressed i do see that that your passions are being expressed here and in many ways in many ways, through many ways. Okay? Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Hello, Taurus. And my moon is in Taurus. So, mm -hmm. and we know, yeah, yes, when we love, like, we really love. Don't forget also that you are a fixed sign. Okay? So again, when you love, you love deep and with a lot of passion. And you are loyal to your love. Whatever that love means to you. It doesn't have to be a person. No, it doesn't have to. Okay? So there's the Knight of Cups. Clarifying, please, the Devil and the Ace of Wands for Taurus. Let's see. Ace of Wands and the Devil for Taurus. The King of Wands. I feel that this King of Wands is a little devil. <laughs> okay. Maybe this is someone that you just met. Or someone that you will meet. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This could also be someone that you have history with. Could be, because we have the devil here, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. That is passionate. King of Wands, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. Okay. But this is someone that definitely embodies the qualities, the energies of the King of Wands. We also have the King of Cups here, the King of Love, the King of Heart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
I don't know if some of you are between a past person and a new person. I, I'm also hearing don't compare oranges with apples. To find the devil and the king of wands for Taurus. Thank you. Ah, the lovers. The lovers. The lovers. The lovers is also a decision. Aha. Uh -huh. Between two people, between two energies, as I said, past and new. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe you are, maybe you need to let go of someone. Just saying, again, for some of you, maybe you need to make room and space for this new person to enter your life. Maybe some of you also have options. Maybe you are dating online. Just saying, just saying, okay? Now, clear find please the page of pentacles for Taurus. The page of pentacles for Taurus. Yeah, ten of pentacles. Ah, you're just like very creative here again, very creative. Mm. Uh, maybe you are considering like, like again, doing something new or something extra to bring more money in. Could be. Some of you are also trying to figure out a way to balance your expenses here. Maybe you are, uh, you, you, you want to save money for something special. This is also about sharing, yes, sharing our, your abundance. Sharing your abundance with those that deserve it, Taurus. With those that have proven that, you know, they deserve it. I'm also seeing someone here um, buying a gift. Maybe you are um, receiving a gift or you are giving one. Could be. Doris, okay. Now, moving on to the Ace of Cups, which is a beautiful energy. We also have soulmate, a soulmate here. So let's see. Ace of Cups and Six of Cups for Doris. Strength. So when it comes to love, yes, you have been challenged, Taurus. Yes. So you have been challenged in love. But still, you're optimistic or you're regaining your optimism when it comes to love. Okay. And again, I don't know if you met someone or you will meet someone very soon that you will feel very comfortable with. Yeah. To open up to, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. To share your energy with your thoughts, your feelings. So, Ace of Cups, Strength, and the Six of Cups for Taurus. Mm. Four of Pentacles. Again, I'm seeing someone here again saving money. Or maybe you're just saving your energy for the right person. Taurus, huh? Yes? Okay. Got you. Okay. Purifying the Eight of Swords for Taurus. I keep, I keep hearing Scorpio in my mind. Someone here is connecting with a, with a Scorpio. Okay. 
Crucifying the Eight of Swords for Torres. Freeing yourself. Mm. You're freeing yourself from a certain way of thinking, being, a pattern. Mm, you're modifying. You're changing here. And, and, and because of that, because of that, because you are welcoming change, there is something new or someone new um, heading towards your way here with the Three of Wands. Yes, I'm feeling it very strongly. But again, I have to say it. I've said this before. Don't look at the watch. Don't look at the time. Look, two clocks. We have two. Where is the other one? Yeah, it's here. You see, two clocks. It's like, yes, I don't know. Maybe you have been single for quite some time. It may be, and you feel the time is passing by. That they're getting older. I don't know. And again, as I said, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. <coughs> yes. Maybe this is what you are advised to free yourself from. The time. Just saying. Or, oh, I have been single for one year. I have been single for 10 years, you know? Or, doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be romantic. Mm -hmm. This could be about anything that you desire, that you wish, that still you don't see in your 3D reality, okay? And you're like, okay, when, when will this opportunity take place? When will this, like, person come into my life? When will I, yes, okay. The when... And the how is really what, you know, we all do that. When and the how. Questions, all these questions, right? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, I want to clarify the clocks. <laughs> Clarifying the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands. If you can see, I mean, you don't need to know tarot. Look at this. Look at this. It's frustrating, right? It's, it's like worrisome, worrisome, worrisome energies, thoughts that don't let you rest. That, yes. And again, the same thing here with the Ten of Wands. It's overwhelming, overwhelming. Now, let's clarify the clocks, the nine of swords and the 10 of wands here for you, Taurus. Eight of pentacles. It's on it, like it's working out, it's working out, but you're not seeing it with the moon, but everything is falling into place. Divine timing, yes, 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 yes. We tend to yes, we tend to forget that. We say it, but we forget it. Something is working out here, but is yet hidden from you. God works in mysterious ways. Yes, he does. Clarifying, please, the eight of pentacles with the moon. Two of Wands. And there you go. This is your energy. You are the Queen of Pentacles. You are the Queen of the 3D reality. You are an Earth sign, Doris. Okay. So again, remember, remember when it's the right time, when it's the right person, the right place. Nothing and no one can stop this. Okay? Two of Wands. You are holding the whole world 
in your hands. Two of Wands is all about infinite, infinite possibilities, scenarios, outcomes. Okay? Yes, Taurus? I really hope this helped somehow, some way. Now let's move on to your um, mm, message advice regarding love. Let's start with that. Okay. So, message advice regarding love for July 2024. Let's see. For love, Taurus, July, for Taurus, thank you. Express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Did I say something about gift? I did say something about a gift. I, yes. Hmm. Okay. Message advice when it comes to your well-being, Taurus. Message advice for your well-being. Divine source, help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. And finally, Doris, your spiritual message for July. Yes. For July, for Taurus. Let's see. For Taurus, please. Honor you. Honor and love your physical and non-physical self, the body, mind, and spirit. Allow them all to move into balance as you realize all have equal importance. You're not your mind, you're not your body, and you're not your spirit. You are all of these together, a beautiful combination that the universe celebra celebrates as you. Feel this and celebrate the amazing relationship you have with you. For this is the most important relationship you will ever experience and everything else in this reality is a reflection of that. Close your eyes and place your hands at your heart. Say to yourself, I love you. I accept you as you are. You are important and your life counts. Feel the words resonate through you, illuminating the star within your heart. You are what you are. It is time to fully accept the beautiful, physical and spiritual being that you are. No more resistance and putting yourself through pain by trying to do something that you are not. Yes, feel your star radiating unconditional love and light to every cell in your body. Feel enlivened, harmonized, and loved in the presence of your sacred heart. Let all be as it is. Doris, until next time. Bye. Bye-bye.